Solve d square y by dx square plus 4y equal to x square plus cos 2x plus 2 raised to minus x. Now find the general solution. Now general solution is a complementary function plus particular integral. Or general solution equal to complementary function plus particular integral. First is a complementary function. Okay. Now consider we have d square plus 4 into y is equal to right hand side that is x square plus cos 2x plus 2 raised to minus 6. Now find the roots means go to the auxiliary equation that is a m square plus 4 equal to 0. Okay. Now m is equal to plus or minus 2i complex roots alpha is a 0 beta is a 2. Now complementary function is a c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x this is complementary function now go to the particular integral yp particular integral is a phi of x upon f of d okay phi of x means right hand side that is a x square plus cos 2x plus 2 raised to minus x divided by f of d this is a d square plus 4 now separate the terms x square by f of d that is a d square plus 4 plus cos 2x by d square plus 4 plus 2 raised to minus x by d square plus 4 okay now particular integral is a p1 plus p2 plus p3 now call this is p1 p2 and p3 now solve one by one first is a p1 p1 is a x square plus you can write x square by d square plus 4 that is a 4 plus d square x is a decreasing order and d is a increasing order now using division method using division method x square ok now it is a 4 plus d square now cancel x square now here x square by 4 ok in a quotient required x square by 4 multiply 4 4 cancel x square is remaining ok then after d stand differential operator now x square differentiate 2 times 2x and 2 and 2 by 4 is a plus 1 by 2 okay change the sign 0 this is a minus minus 1 by 2 now cancel the minus 1 by 2 in quotient required minus 1 by 8 4 into minus 1 by 8 is you get minus minus 1 by 2 this is plus 0 the remainder should be required 0 whatever the quotient part that is particular integral now yp and that is sorry p1 is equal to that is x x square by 4 minus 1 by 8 this is a p1 by p p2 is a second term cos 2x by d square plus 4 this is a type 2 now taking d square is equal to minus a square a means 2 that is a minus 4 square now cos 2x by minus 4 plus 4 that is a cos 2x by denominator is a 0 now therefore p2 is equal to denominator 0 means multiply by x in numerator x into cos 2x divided by differentiate this one f dash of d you get 2d only now after this x by 2 1 by d stand 1 by d is a integration integration part now integrate cos 2x then you get sin 2x by 2 a is a constant divided by 2 now p2 is equal to x into sin 2x by 4 this is second p2 now go to the p3 means this part now p3 is equal to 2 raised to minus x by f of d that is a d square now use standard type this is not a standard type we adjust or we make a standard type or like this e raised to log 2 this whole is to minus x divided by d square plus 4 okay log whole raised to minus x is a 2 raised to minus x okay now this is equal to my e raised to minus log 2 into x divided by d square plus 4 now see this type 1 e raised to a a means minus log 2 okay now put d is equal to a this is a part e raised to a x p3 is equal to e raised to minus log 2 into x divided by d square okay this is a minus 2 whole square minus whole square plus 4 
or this is a this part is a 2 raise 2 minus x divided by log 2 whole square minus whole square is a plus sign whole square plus 4 this is p3 now general solution is a yc plus yp that means yc plus yp is a p1 plus p2 plus p3 add it all three now general solution is good for sure function that is c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x plus p1 plus p1 is a x square by 4 minus 1 by 8 plus p2 p2 is a plus x into sin 2x divided by 4 plus p3 p3 is a plus 2 2 raise to minus x divided by log 2 whole square plus 4 now this is required solution please subscribe my channel please like the videos and please give the comments thank you